I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna get off. I've known niggas who've told women that their sons weren't shit. You know, like yeah, yeah, I've you know, heard their that. own son. Like yeah, he ain't shit. He ain't gonna do this and that and la la la. la and they still continue the relationship and yeah. then have a whole bunch of babies, man, all this other stuff. Yeah. And now he's to blame. It's like mm-hmm. it's crazy to me. Well, everybody told you he wasn't shit. And you you know, mama told you that he wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, I seen it way, way too much. Yeah, yeah, don't complain. You put yourself in that position, ma'am. You knew he wasn't shit. Exactly. Oh my and, and I said that earlier about the guys. You know, when you see deceptive behavior or boundary behaviors, you know, up front, and you in there, don't dismiss them. That's that's. Mm-hmm. There's more to come. And if you and if and if you allow that crap to pass, you you bought that. You know what I mean, and I'll be talking about that when I when I go back live on the 29th because I'm gonna be talking about a disobedient wives and stuff like that. You know what I mean? When you let stuff, little, you know, disrespects and boundaries. When man, I'm telling you right now, I'm going. It's gonna get personal because I less. Ugh, mm-hmm. I, I agree, I, and I agree I with you. That you I, went to, I bought that bad boy. Oh, I'm yeah. a wife. I'm, a, I'm I'm a wife of 19 years, and I and I absolutely agree with you. You know, and and a woman should choose a man where she's willing to be on board with his purpose exactly. and and his boundaries. And you you know what you you logging on to. So when that critique comes, or when uh, there's a behavior that's exhibited and he needs to express it, and that behavior calls for changed behavior, sometimes apology is not enough. You know, when it comes to being a wife, that behavior needs to be changed. Yeah, you know, you see all this hair on my head. You know, it's always going to be some type of hand food. Yeah, but the husband let me know, like, listen, this do. is too much. You need to start doing something about eliminating hair out of the food. I love your cooking, but once or twice a month, I don't want to be picking out no hair. So it's my job. <laughs> to be, you know what I mean? And I feel him, you know, whether I didn't like it or not, but I feel him, you know, so you don't want to be disappointed when you get a meal and you got some hair in it. So respectfully, now I got to cover my hair. Which is not a problem, you know. So women, we get all bent out of shape because now I got to do something for you and what you doing for me, and you know, and it's just that bitterness. But I want longevity with my husband, and I don't want my children, my daughters, to see me in conflict with their father because it's something that he was displeased with. When I'm displeased, I have the free space to express it, and he's willing to listen, and he adjusts himself. And that's what marriage is, you know. We got to be able to articulate, you know. Um, good, bad, and indifferent, and be able to listen, you know, and be willing to change and grow and develop, because we're always forever growing until we die, so mm-hmm. ladies, we gotta think a little bit more logically and stop moving on our emotions. Right, exactly. thank, you. thank you for letting me come up here. I appreciate thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna go back into the chat. I was just being nosy, because I had nothing else to do. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'm glad you came up. All right. We got to- <laughs> Figure said I dream too big, about to do it way bigger I'm the boss when I walk through, straighten up a sit I ain't never had to tell them, but they know that I'm that Finish that So many wins, I had to go ahead and bring it back I like you, my sons, go ahead and get the similar 